Welcome to part two of the basic guide to keying in PhotoKey 4. If you haven't already done so, make sure to check out part one, which covers the first half of the key tool set. Alpha Blur acts as a feather control for the edges of your foreground, softening the edge of your key. Small doses of Alpha Blur can at times be useful for improving the realism of a composite, or sometimes higher settings can be fun for creating interesting composite effects. Notice that, as I, even though I've turned this all the way up, the detail in the center of our foreground is not affected by that blur. It's only the edges of our image that are affected. Now they just kind of fade into the background in a much more gradual manner. And the reason for this is that the blur that we're applying is actually only blurring the matte or the alpha channel of the image. Here, if we switch back to matte view, you can see how soft that edge is now, where if I turn this back down, we did have a nice sharp edge, but then with alpha blur, we can just very gradually soften that transition from white to black in the matte, which results in a much softer edge to our keyed image. Prop tool enables you to very quickly trim the edges of your foreground image. To see why this would be useful, let's look at this example. Here, if I turn the keying filters off briefly, here's our original image. And you can see that on the right, we have a light stand or something in the shot where it shouldn't be. And then on the left, we can see the edge of the green screen. And whatever was behind it is visible in our shot. So I'll reset this real quick. And that removes the green screen nicely. But then to remove those problems in the frame that we don't want, you can just take the crop tool and it gives you control over each edge of your image. And you can just slide those edges in until whatever you are trying to remove is cropped from the frame, leaving just your subject in the middle. Spill suppression is often an essential tool for good green screen work. Green screen photos often suffer from color spill, which is when the green or blue of the background is reflected onto the subject, especially around the edges. Notice if I turn the spill suppression off, how much green is reflected into the edges of this subject's hair. The spill suppression filter is designed to remove or minimize this. However, since spill suppression is working to correct flaws in the original photo by shifting colors, the results are often not an exact color match for the original image. There are several types of spill suppression to help deal with this. If you find the original colors of your foreground being distorted, try switching to a different type using the menu. In this example, the girl's yellow top which you can see if I turn spill suppression off, is being changed to orange when we turn on spill suppression using the extended mode. But if we switch to standard, you can see that now that shirt retains its original colors. The only way to positively ensure an exact color match to your original image is to light your shots well enough that no spill suppression is required. Anytime you're using spill suppression on an image, there's a chance that it will result in some color shifting. The process menu will be discussed later in the tutorial dealing with masks. When working with masks, this menu gives you greater control over the colors in the masked areas. Light Wrap is an extremely useful tool which can greatly improve your composites. It allows the colors present in your background along the edge of your foreground image to bleed into the edges of the foreground, simulating the way bright light spills onto objects. The size of the light wrap can be adjusted to suit the scene or your personal preference. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more so you can more clearly see the effect it is having. So now look at the edges of the image here as I turn this effect off. And you can very clearly see how the brightness of the background is affecting the edges of our foreground image. The blend mode can also be altered to create different looks or effects. For example, if I set this to add, you can see how it brightens those edges of the image even more. Light wrap can also be useful for hiding compositing problems with difficult source photos. Sometimes you may want to turn light wrap off while adjusting your key so you can see a more definite edge to your foreground. Hopefully this video has provided a clear explanation of how to use the various keying tools. Our next video will look at how masks can be used to improve your composites.